Okay, hello, Tisha. Um, thank you for helping me out with my term paper. I just want to ask you a couple of questions about um, Starry Night and The Beggar by Picasso. Mm -hmm. What do you think about um, Picasso's blue period and what it meant to him and us? Um, I don't really know much about the history behind it. I just know he went through a blue period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I do know it was uh, a step in uh, monochromatic work. Um, I know artists like Henry Matisse did it at the time, but him, he, he focused on it for a, a long period because he associated a lot of uh, his blue period paintings with like the sickly and the, the mentally ill which kind of was a reflection of his depression. Mm -hmm. So I guess what it means to us is like what our interpretation of what he was feeling at the time. And, okay. Yeah. Did, did um, Van Gogh have a, sim a similar period? Um, Van Gogh was pretty much troubled most of his life. And I guess the, the key difference between that is if you look at some of Van Gogh's other works that are more explicitly stated than Starry Night is his arbitrary use of color. Mm -hmm. um, there's one, I can't really remember the name, that has like a pool table in it. So he uses much saturated color mm -hmm. um, as opposed to Picasso's, comparing his blue period, it's his cool palette compared to that. Mm. Do, do you have any thoughts on uh, Van Gogh's um, post-impression uh, influence? Um, hmm. I feel like he should pause his because I have to like collect my thoughts because I don't really know specifically. Okay, I'll just go. I'll just, I'll, just skip, I'll just skip over. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, get out of the frame. <laughs> um, me. I told him not to. Have a good. Have, enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Um, Thank you. The difference between Van Gogh's and Picasso's social lives. Do you have any thoughts about that? I know Picasso was definitely much more when. He wasn't going through it. He was much more charismatic mm -hmm. um, than Van Gogh ever was. Van Gogh was very um, a recluse, mm -hmm. probably be the closest thing to say. Picasso had many benefactors, many sponsors mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. treated, his, that supported his work. So he was always surrounded by people. Yeah, yeah. So you can definitely con contrast or compare the, the fact that Van Gogh kept to himself, um, didn't really um, go out there and... and and show his work out um, while Picasso was proud of it and he wanted people to see, always had people over, always had benefactors and stuff. Thank you. Okay, um, the similarities and differences in the depression periods of, you may have already answered that question, we can just skip over it, but um, do you see any similarities or difference in the depressions that Van Gogh and uh, Picasso experienced? Uh, well, I wouldn't go into any psychological um, comparison, but I definitely you could probably definitely see it in their works, um, specifically with Picasso. Even though during his blue period, and it was definitely before like his cubism and most of his abstract. Um, his work is a lot more true to form, even if like the figures are not realistic. As you could compare to Van Gogh's work and his style technique, it's it's a lot more loose and it's not. It, uh, uh, Picasso was more loose. But yeah, sorry. Yes. Okay. Other way around. <laughs> uh, Van and Van Gogh, let's see, he compared his Starry Night um, with one of Picasso's Blue Periods. You can definitely notice that um, even though Van Gogh was mostly always depressed mm -hmm. it wasn't uh it wasn't shown up in like the colors he used like it wasn't depressive mm -hmm. like starry night has has full uses of like um yellows and oranges in it yes definitely um while picasso definitely his works just come across as with the monochromatic mm -hmm. yes i agree okay thank you um um what do you think about the fact that Van Gogh only sold one picture, and how would that make you feel as an artist? Mm. Well, I suppose you can say 
that that would meant that he was doing it more for more than for just money. He was just doing it to do it because he loved to do it. Mm -hmm. Which, on the flip side, Picasso had a lot of money because he always sold his work. Yeah, yeah. So he definitely saw it as more of a what's the word? Um, source of income. Source of income. Um, and and I guess also in in a way of elevating yourself in society also. Yeah. He, he he was a really wealthy man, as Van Gogh was not. Yeah. So, um, specifically, you can say that says a lot about an artist. Not in the amount of works that he sold, but the fact that he only was willing to sell one work. Yeah. That's Thank you very much. Okay. Um, do you believe that um, Van Gogh committed suicide, or do you think he was murdered? And I, I know he he died after the injury, after he was shot, a period of time. But do you think he shot himself, or do you think that someone else did it? Um, I don't have much insight mm -hmm. onto that. But okay. considering the evidence shows he was a very troubled man, mm -hmm. and he cut off his own ear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I don't think it would be far from his nature to shoot himself, whether... Wow. That's, I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one last question. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe maybe two more. Um, what? Who is your favorite out of the two artists? Van Gogh or Picasso? Um, I suppose if I had to choose an absolute favorite. There's different aspects about them that I like with I guess with Van Gogh was his technique since like that the thick chalky um, brush strokes mm -hmm. um, I can appreciate his deviation from the norm and, and, and sticking and going with that but I guess with Picasso I never cared much for Picasso's works I can only care for his um, method for getting his name about because mm -hmm. being a well-known artist is a very hard thing to do yeah so you can say he was much more of a businessman Go than Brian. Van Gogh was okay that's a very good answer and this <laughs> one last question um, um what do you know about the women in the lives of Picasso and uh, I know that Van Gogh only had maybe one interest but mm -hmm. what do you know what do you think about uh the women in Picasso's life they definitely contributed to his different periods of his artwork. Um, I know there was Gertrude Stein, I believe her last name was Stein. She kind of inspired his, his to start into cubism very modestly. Um, and I don't really remember any of the other ones, but they definitely, this is, this is how I like to say it, is like through, e through each new woman he has, it's a different art period for yeah. him. A different, a different kind of like a different style. Each woman bought a different style. Would yeah. you say? Yeah. Okay. And I mean, that's that's also interesting as you think about it. It's it's um he's very inspired by women. Most of his work was of women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was very much a ladies' man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, this one other thing, um, um, Tisha Rodriguez, could you please tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um. I have a degree in graphic design um, and a lot of personal and prior um, art history knowledge on my own, as, as well as taking numerous art history classes. Um, I do my own artwork on the side. I'm a traditional artist as well, as well as a web designer and now hopefully animation. <laughs> well, you have a lot. You have a lot of tools in your belt. Um, I just wanted to just thank you very much for your opinions, and um, I appreciate well, it very much. Me. I enjoyed interviewing. I always like talking about this stuff. <laughs> well, thank you very much. All right.